Uh, hi guys, today I want us to start a new session of feature scripts in Onshape. Today being our day one, we'll illustrate a basic example on how to create your own custom feature to be used in Onshape. Like today, we're going to create this cube. You can see, I have a cube, my custom feature that is called cube that generates a, a random cube of maybe side if I put 60 here I get a cube of 60 how can you do this in on ship therefore what you need the first thing you need is to create an insert new element that is, you want to create a feature studio. Once you create an empty feature studio, we'll always import a library. You can see this one is an empty feature studio that imports the library that is going to be used and declares the version. This is the current version of this label 1847 maybe the next version will be 1848 something like that okay then we need now to form the first basic framework of the new feature therefore we have to select new feature therefore it creates the basic framework Just know this from this point here. Let me put a space. This one is now the feature that is made up of declaration. This is a declaration here, and within we have a body. This is a body and precondition. Okay. The first one you see here is annotation. It contains the name of the feature, the feature you are creating, like in, this is the name cube. If you go back to part studio, this is the name cube. You define this name on annotation. Maybe I can use my cube. Let me use my cube. That's the name of the feature. Next is called export constant. It contains the custom internal name. This is the internal name here of the of the custom feature. That's how the onship will save this name internally. Okay. Then I'm saying I've said that it contains the custom feature internal name and also under the precondition is where we now we define the inputs and actions. Therefore, the export constant, the internal name will be the my feature is my feature is my cube. You can see now it exports this my cube export constant my cube export internally under this code therefore this is the name that is you see we are exporting the custom feature we are forming an internal name okay going to the next in the precondition is where user inputs are defined you define the user inputs under precondition what is the user input you go to the first one let me use a length i need a length because my cube is defined by length what's the name of the length you see this dialog here if i go back you can see this cube this what we need to define the cube side this is the action this is the input sorry it's an input input of the user therefore i want to use other under the input you define 
then lastly we define the action for the input any in inputs needs an action we are waiting some time to load yeah this will be our first day we'll be creating custom feature every day step at a time until we until we create about about 30 annotation and now instead of my length i want to say maybe my cube side my cube side annotation here therefore definition now you are defining is length defining these are the length this one carry car, this one means it has some units therefore my length it is the definition is my cube my cube underscore side okay annotation this is a name then we are declare we want to declare this is length i'll go into deeper details what we mean by this is length later we're going to understand later okay but for now let me focus on the basic then we need to go to the body okay then for the body we take a function that is called f cuboid f cuboid is a function whenever you see an f f c leader f sphere means a function this function takes to take in two inputs for the opposite corners we have a corner one corner two these are the inputs these are the inputs to this function okay the first corner is at origin at origin here i'm using this one to comment maybe it's for someone else to understand the code it takes a vector x y z and multiplies by the value you give at my cube side therefore this becomes definition you defined dot cube side the first corner is at zero zero it gets the other corner to form a cube or cuboid by multiplying the the other vector of x y z by that length and, that, and we are done you don't need to define inches here they are already defined on this on the on the inputs here this is the action what happens after putting this value this is what i get i get a cuboid and it's a function that takes two values okay then saying commit it is making this code active and i advise you always rename similar to always rename your your feature script then commit if i go back to party studio let me hide this commit means making the code to be active to be used i can share this code with someone else if i want you see here i have now this is my cube a minute double check double check if everything is okay yeah if i go back i should see another one here don't know why it's not coming let me refresh unless there's some errors we have made taking some time yeah that's fine therefore let me go back to the part studio yeah here it is yeah you're supposed to refresh it doesn't come automatically have to refresh the page my cube see the my cube the same name i used here under annotation annotation my cube if you change this name also this changes here my cube my cube side remember my cube side here the one i used here on the annotation yeah my cube side okay i want 50 it takes 50 
multiply by, multiply this 50 by vector of 1 1 1 i get 50 50 50 okay okay this one is 50 you can see 50 50 therefore if it takes a vector of x y z then it gets this corner this is the corner i'm getting you can see here this point is 50x 50y 50z okay this is the origin 0 0 this is the 1 1 multiplied by 50 the value defined using f cuboid okay thank you stay tuned in my day two whereby i'll go now to the next level yeah see you in the, my next video